Hi, welcome to my video on making a blog using Visual Studio Code in 2019. Now, um, I have up here the website for Visual Studio Code. It's a free open source text editor that runs anywhere. And um, I'm also using, just want to point out that I'm also using OBS Studio to record this video. You might have seen me when I switch tabs, the uh, OBS Studio in the background. Here, so I'm using that technology, and I'm using it on uh, an HP computer that costs about 300 bucks from Staples. So you can use this stuff anywhere to create your blog online. Uh, hosting costs would be, I don't know, five to ten dollars a month, uh, and then a domain costs about fifteen dollars a year. So it's pretty cheap to start your own blog, and then you can share with the world your stories about Bigfoot and Pukwudgies and various other things that you might write about in your blog and or I might write about. Um, anyways, let's get to it. We're going to code it up. Now, you may be asking, well, why would you want to do a blog with a text editor, Visual Studio Code, which is this editor here? Why not just do it um, in WordPress? And WordPress is a great solution, but um, you do have to update it regularly to keep it secure. If you do an HTML CSS blog um, with a little bit of PHP that you write yourself, you can probably leave it up for uh, months on end. But the PHP might be a little bit more susceptible, so you want to take some uh, precautions with that. But um, HTML and CSS, you can leave it up for months, so if you go through a dry spell in your writing, you don't have to keep coming back to the logging into your admin panel and updating it like you do in WordPress. The other uh, advantage is that it does run um, a bit faster on a shared server, which is what you probably want to start with. Um, okay, so we're going to open a file. And I am working on this site blog section. I've put it up in WordPress, taken it down. Uh, I'm not going to put it up in probably HTML and CSS. Uh, so but I'm going to build this blog offline, and then um, I may put it upline. So we're going to start with the index file. And in Visual Studio Code, in my settings, on my preferences, I'm going to go to my uh, settings. And then I'm going to go to my suggestions. Uh, I believe that's where I had it. No, nope, maybe not. Um, no. Ah, I, I was editing it here. Um, and maybe I didn't have it. Um, anyways, what I do want to do is place a little bit of code so that um, user settings. I did have it. Never mind. Sorry. Finding out where I put it. Um, I do have this uh, thing here. It says Emmet Trigger Expansion on Tab. True. Uh, I have that set up. So anyway, so when I am now um, doing this, I can use this. I'm going to close this over here. Uh, when I use this, I can hit the exclamation point and hit tab, and it gives me an HTML outline. Um, and you'll see here that the viewport is set up for me, the character set is set up, and a few other things. Um, I'm going to move down to here. Obviously, I want to title it. This is going to be my homepage for blogception.com. Uh, and then we're going to move to the body. And in the body, I think we're going to start with a header. So I'm going to type header, hit tab. And in the tether, header, I'm going to have a nav menu. I'm going to type nav and hit tab. Uh, and now I want to have my three links. One is going to be to my home page. Um, I'm going to hit A and tab. And that's just going to be index.html. And it gives me that suggestion. And I'm going to type home, okay. I'm going to move over here, hit A and tab. Um, and then I want a contact page. That I believe I'm going to do in PHP. So I'm going to do contact.php, contact. And then 
um, a and tab and about dot html and i'll type in about um, and then also um, above the nav we want to have a class for the logo so i'm going to type dot logo hit tab it's going to be a class and then my image uh i'm going to type img it's going to give me an image source i'm going to have to have an image folder which i need to create and a file called logo um maybe dot png um I know this is going to be the blog exception logo for my alt tab there. And you can see I've already started to come up with my header. Now, I don't have an image folder yet, um, but that's okay. Uh, let me expand this out here. And I want to create a new folder. I'm going to call that image. And then here, uh, a new... Ah, here I'm going to have to put the files. All right. Um, and then also, while I'm here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call that CSS. And within that folder here, I'm going to create a file called style.css. Okay. And that's going to open up over here. Uh, and I can start working on my style once I link it in. Um, so I'm going to link in um, a style sheet. And the type is going to be uh, text slash CSS file. Um, oops. And the link is going to be CSS slash style dot CSS. Okay. Uh, that's going to link in my style sheet. And you know what? Just to make it easy so I remember, I'm going to make a comment. Uh, this is where the style sheets go. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm gonna hit Control and Save. Um, and now let's now that we've got the header, we've got the style sheet linked in, but nothing in the style sheet yet. Let's go uh, to the next portion of the site, um, which is going to be the main portion. So I'm gonna type in main and hit tab. And I can use that in HTML5. Um, and then here. We're going to have to have some stories with some excerpts. Um, and so what I'll do is uh, first maybe we'll have a header. Uh, um, blog exceptions uh, most recent articles. Okay. And I just typed H1 and tab to get that. And then I'm going to type H2 and tab. And I'm going to type... Uh, most recent excerpt or most recent article here. Um, obviously, we'd come up with something. Now I'm going to go down here into P and tab, um, and I'm going to start to type. Uh, this is the most recent article here. Uh, here is a short excerpt on the most recent article. To read more, uh, I'm going to type A and tab, and then um, we're going to have to go into a folder. We'll call that folder blog, and then we'll just uh, do article template.html, which is what we're going to need. HTML, and in the link, I'll type most recent article. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to type click here. Okay. All right. So we'll move back here and then we'll do another H2. Uh, we'll type second, second most recent article. Okay. And then I'll hit tab and I'll say, this is my second most recent article on Pacwedgies um, named Ralph. I'm just joking around with this. Obviously, it's going to be a jokey blog, but uh, you can do a blog on whatever, maybe um, on why not to write a blog about puck wedgies and Bigfoot. Um, but I like to write fiction, so um, I'm going to do it. So there. Uh, anyways, um, moving on. Uh, <laughs> this is a short excerpt uh, about... 
uh, how the puck wudgie named Ralph got himself into trouble uh, in Coventry, Connecticut. Okay, uh, to read more, type, uh, sorry, type A and tab. Um, maybe I want to clear that space there. Uh, and this is going to be in the blog folder, and it's going to be again article templates. Uh, dot HTML. We're going to come up with a basic one that you can use for each of your blogs. You just have to delete a little code, and then uh, put in your uh, in your your own blog. And you'll see that in in probably not this first video, but in subsequent videos. All right, so we got two. Let's do one more. Um, H2, hit tab. It's going to be my third most recent article. Okay, and then I'm going to go here and hit uh, P and tab uh, and just say, this is my third most recent article. Uh, in this article, we talk about how Ralph the Puckwudgie uh, fights off um, uh, Mario the Bigfoot. Okay. Uh, to read more, hit A and tab. Um, and it's going to be again blog. We're just going to use this article template to make sure that yeah. You know, just to show you, uh, obviously we'd change the, um, what it's called. It might be like Ralph fights off bigfoot.html um, or something like that. Uh, we're going to go to read more, click here, and I'm in bet, I'm putting that in the middle of the, uh, the link tag here. Uh, here's where the link goes, and, and we're done. Okay. Um, okay. That's the main. All right. And I'm going to hit. Control and save just to save it as we go. Um, okay, and then after the main part, we probably want uh, a sidebar. So we're going to have a, an aside, hit tab, and then in the sidebar, um, might have a few uh, H3 headings. So a little less important. Um, and I'll put ads here. Uh, and then and uh, this is where I might put some Google sorry, Google ads or um, ads from a sponsor if I ever get one uh, okay and then all right and then we might have some other things uh, we might have type H to again uh, do some archives um, perhaps, let's see, you started this blog in December, so type A, and then uh, we'll have a folder called Archives, uh, and this will be December 2018, HTML, that'll be a page, we'll just do December 2018, uh, and maybe we've also done January of this year. So we also have archives uh, folder January uh, 2018.html. Uh, January 2018. And maybe if you want to have a bunch of articles or a bunch of folders, you could even do, uh, you know, um, you could even do. Uh, folders for the month, but I mean, do it for 10 years, you have 120 files in a folder. Um, you're going to probably redo your website a couple times within that time. So I don't think that folder is going to get too full. All right. So, um, all right. So we have an aside, we have the archives and then, uh, maybe we have, um, you know, maybe above the archive, let me space this down a little bit. 
maybe we have a contact. So H3, we'll type contact, uh, email, um, and something like uh, A and tab, and then mail to, and then I'll put my uh, email address, and then um, so they can send me mail. Um, Please send me your suggestions and thoughts. Okay, and I can have that. Uh, okay. All right, and I could add some other things for the the sidebar, but you know I think that's good for now. And then we want to probably finish up with a footer. Hit tab, um, and then in the footer um, I can do. Uh, you know, my copyright information. So I'm going to hit P and tab, and I'm going to align this paragraph in the center. And I'm going to say copyright. Um, I started this in 2018, really. So, uh, and then that uh, ampersand copy semicolon gives you that copyright symbol 2018 to 2019. Uh, well, I can put my name, Timothy uh, and then website designed by uh, to type A and tab, and then I'm going to have my actual website design, cat1webdesign.com, uh, and I'll have that open in a new window. So target equals underscore blank, um, and then in the actual in between the uh, link tags, I want to type the name of it, cat1webdesign.com. Okay, hit control and save. All right, so now let's go to our folders and documents and websites. And this is an example of the blog exception. And we're going to open this. We're going to click on it and open it using. Uh, Chrome. Open it with Google Chrome. So we don't have this photo, and there is no um, there is no style sheet yet. So it doesn't look technically what you would call good. So in our next video, we're actually going to build up the style sheet and make it look good. Uh, but now we've we've done the HTML markup for the first page. So video two is going to be the CSS uh, for this home page to make it look nice, along with incorporating a Google font. So stay tuned for that.